How to create HTML email in InDesign. If you're looking to create an HTML email using InDesign, you're on the right track. Here's how you can do it step by step. First, open Adobe InDesign and create a new document. To do this, go to File, then New, and select Document or press Ctrl N on your keyboard. In the New Document dialog, select Web from the Intent drop down menu. Set the page size to custom and enter 500 pixels for the width and 900 pixels for the height. Click OK to save these settings and open your new document. Next, use the Rectangle tool or press M to draw rectangles that will represent the header, body, and footer of your email. For example, create one rectangle for the top 200 pixels, another for the center 600 pixels, and a third for the bottom 100 pixels spanning across the entire width. Now, use the Type tool or press T to add text to your document. Click inside the body rectangle and enter your email message. You can adjust the font size and style using the tools in the top text toolbar. Add any additional text to the footer rectangle, such as company copyright information, trademarks, or unsubscribe links. Once you've designed your email, save the InDesign document by going to File, then Save, or press Ctrl S. To export your document as HTML, go to File, then Export, or press Ctrl E. In the Export dialog, select HTML from the Save As Type drop-down menu and click Save. This will open the HTML Export Options dialog. In the HTML Export Options, go to the Image section and select Link to Server Path from the Copy Images drop-down menu. Enter the server path where your images are stored. Make sure this path matches where your images are located. Click OK to export your document as HTML. A preview of your document will open in a new browser window. Open a plain text editor like Notepad. Go to File, then Open and select the HTML document you just exported. Press Ctrl-A to select all the HTML code and then press Ctrl-C to copy it to your clipboard. You can now paste this HTML code into the message body of a new email. However, keep in mind that many email clients have issues with CSS, so it's best to use inline CSS styles. This means you should avoid separate CSS files and instead include your styles directly within the HTML code. For a more compatible email, consider using tables instead of divs and avoid using linked CSS files, as many email clients can't handle them. You can find pre-designed templates that use tables and inline CSS, such as those from Constant Contact, to make this process easier. By following these steps, you can create a professional-looking HTML email using InDesign, even though InDesign itself isn't perfect for direct HTML export for emails. 